for our people, of course. That is that's our job as government departments. Our job is to make sure that the programs, we are getting programs and making sure that our beneficiaries are availing it. So it's one of that, amazing. But why I'm really happy about this program is convergence. And this is something that I have always believed in even before joining the government. During COVID, we had the, we constituted a committee, economic committee for the state. And I was not part of the government, but I was fortunate to be part of the committee where our CEO Roland was also part of it. And all the departments, we all came together because COVID was a shock to all of us, right? And so now it's, this is the time. And when we all discussed to get all the departments, when we came together and we started discussing about the economy of the state, one thing was convergence of the different departments. All of us are working in silos. All of us are doing whatever we want to do in our own way with the same target. The beneficiaries are the same, but all of us want to hold on to our own programs and to our own money. And that is why there's a confusion amongst not only the department, but the confusion amongst the people also. And we're not being able to come out with the impact that we envision. Now, both NULM and uh, NSLM have been working with the Department of Industries on this one, because this is not new. The major chunk is going to go out. We have been doing a lot of training and capacity building, and we have been discussing this um, for quite some time. So we are all aware of what, it, what this is. But like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of struggle in the government departments, and I want to highlight this. I want I wanted this program to happen. It could have just happened. It doesn't matter. But I wanted this program to be highlighted because I want to send out the message to all the departments that convergence is important. Because as and to be very honest, this some amount for this year was kept for another program called uh, um, Common Facility Set. You know, but again, there was a discussion with the ministry because <coughs> we believe that SHGs are the most important. The building of the state has to start from the grassroots. And with the with NSLM doing a fantastic job for the past many years, empowering our SHGs, we thought this is the right time for us to also start supporting them. And once our SSGs are uh, empowered, once our SSG at the grassroots know what is happening, then it is easier to go up. When we're trying to set up big, big factories, unless the people at the grassroots don't even know what is happening, it could just remain a building and an infrastructure, which we need to change. So I think uh, I thank my food processing team uh, for being innovative and trying to see what they can do best for our people and the state in general. So thank you very much. Improve their livelihood and develop self-reliance and self-dependence. Uh, SULM is implemented in 11 district headquarters only. There is Koima, Dimapur, Bokokchung, Kweksam, Wakamon, Khek, Chifri, Longland, and Perem. Uh, till date, we have 1,036 uh, 1, SSG only. And then they are mostly engaged in handroom, beef making, fruits and vegetables, grocery, poultry, piggery, and multi diversified activities in a very small scale. And the percentage of our SSG involved in food processing unit is very meager. So um, for the past few months, it was quite a challenging and tax, uh, taxing job for our limited human resources. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.